Hi viewers, welcome to all. Here we are discussing about a project, a low cost and high throughput FPGA implementations of the Retinax algorithm for real time video enhancement. As a result of low illumination circumstance, the image sensor is often degraded in specific environment of video applications such as a medical imaging, space explorations and underwater research among other things. As a result, it is important to brighten the positions of the image that is too dark to detect the features of while keeping the reminders of the images its original brightness. With the Retinax algorithms, a video naturalness may be resorted more effectiveness than the before and the method performs particularly well in the augmentations of dark region. The sophisticated structures such as Gaussian filters and exponentials operations necessitate a high level of computing complexity which makes it difficult to execute in real time because of the high level of the computations complexity required. So present in the proposed approach uh, is a low cost and high throughput design of the Retinax video enhancement method using a field programmable category. This design is developed and it can produce an image at the rate of uh, 60 frames per second for 720 cross 576 resolutions with the very low latency. The proposed FPGA designs reduce the amount of hardware resources required while maintaining the quality and performance. This is accomplished by employing a small line buffer rather than the frame buffer by utilizing the concept of the approximate computings for the complex Gaussian filters and by developing a novel and non-trivial exponentials operations. This work on Xilinx's Vertex 5 FPGA and compared all the parameters in terms of area delay and power. Now we can verify the base paper. This is a base paper title and base paper abstract. So this base paper they are developed with 1920 cross 1080 image resolutions at 60 frames per second. We have developed this work at 720 cross 576. Okay. Now we can see the procedure on step by step. Okay. So this is a uh, Yeah. So this is a theory they are handled the Retinax theory and algorithms the concept of Retinax algorithm as per this algorithm we have developed this work. So first of all they are using uh, this equations okay this is a uh, equations for uh, weight mapping with a Gaussian kernel algorithms okay. For this Gaussian kernel algorithms we are used this paper the constant time hardware architectures for a Gaussian smoothing filter okay so as per this paper we are developed the code with uh, this modifications okay this uh, west north south east based structures we are handled and we are developed as per this equation format and we will complete the format of the Gaussian kernel algorithm okay after that okay we need to update the weight map channel okay for the weight map channel we are updated this equations okay and for modified illuminations we are used this equations okay and uh, for naturalness equations uh, we are handled this with a uh, contracts enhancement and data distribution for contracts enhancement we are used this is a reference paper for contracts enhancement so image uh, enhancement method approach using Verilog hardware description language Okay, so now we are verified the uh, base papers and uh, equations, right? Now we can check the block diagram. Okay, so this is the input image or video separate RGBL. Okay, so next we need to separate the R uh, red signals, green signals, and blue signals. Okay, separately. After that, we need to uh, given this RGB signal to the Gaussian filter. And after the Gaussian filter output, we need to give on the data to weight map generations, okay, and Cal FM and uh, reflectance creations and Cal F E N H and output video, okay. So as per this block diagram procedure, uh, we will get this type of output, okay. This is a block diagrams and descriptions of output images of each models, okay. First of all, we are taken this images, okay. It will uh, separate it into RGB, okay. This part we are handled within the MATLAB tool, okay. So MATLAB GUI. So this MATLAB GUI will help 
to uh, convert this image to three different hexadecimal format of uh, uh, RGB okay so that signal we are used again uh, in the final stage of the MATLAB conversions image to hex and hex to image conversions we are used this okay but uh, we are modified this code uh, we are used this G and D signal for Gaussian smoothing filters after that only we are taken that green and blue signals for final collaborations okay so here uh, first the L channel is a luminance channel so okay we need to split that separately after that we need to convert this L channel into the f of x comma y and f of m uh, x comma y as per the above equations we are seeing okay so after that finally we are uh, added the contracts enhancement on here okay and uh, uh, we will get a hexadecimal output file okay then after we need to give this all hexadecimal output file into the MATLAB Jiva and we will get this type of output okay so this work we are developed in Verilog HDL and synthesized in Xilinx Vertex by FPGA and compared all the parameters okay now we can verify the coding part okay so this is a test bench of the coding so this is a Redinax algorithm 720 cross 576 okay so as per the logic first of all we will uh, using this GUI we need to convert the hexadecimal file sound here okay after that this files will be read it from using file reading code okay this is a file reading code okay so it will be stored into the memory part okay so once the data will be loaded into the memory the file reading code will give a start signal that start signal uh, will given as an input to the retinax algorithm okay so using the start signal we will start the initial first model is a gaussian smoothing filter Okay, so once the Gaussian smoothing filters will be uh, done, uh, it will stored into the, the Gaussian output memory. Okay, so once this process completed, we need to read the data from the Gaussian output memory, and we need to store it into the uh, the weight output memory with the uh, weight map channel. Okay, so as per the equations, we have developed the code for weight map channel, and after the weight map uh, storage memory. Uh, we need to do with the cal fm method and uh, again we need to do with the contracts enhancement okay so after this all process completed we will get a final uh, three memories okay rgb okay that memory output we are read and uh, will taken as a output okay so this is a gaussian smoothing filters okay so this gaussian smoothing filters means first of all uh, we need to store the data into the memory okay using this start signal uh, we are read the code okay and uh, we need to split the uh, pixel size uh, as a 3 cross 3 okay so based upon the pixel size 3 cross 3 we need to uh, split it and we need to uh, do with this format okay so this format means it's a north edition south edition uh, west editions and east editions okay after that we need to store the data into the again the memory storage of the retinax algorithm okay so this is a image line buffer of 3 cross 3 this is a gaussian ip core and this is a gaussian line buffer decoder okay so now we can show the simulation part of this model okay so this is a simulation work so retinax algorithm 720 cross 576 okay and gaussian smoothing filter okay so weight map channel maximum and cal fm okay so contracts enhancement okay and uh, we will show the simulation gui so this is a input image ui okay and output image okay so left side is the input and uh, right side is the output this is a rgb image okay so you can compare the two images okay how much difference it will be have in the contrast and the uh, noises okay so you can check it and uh, this work we are synthesized in Xilinx Vertex 5 FPGA okay so here you can check number of slice registers number of LUTs number of occupied slices number of IOBs okay and uh, DSP blocks okay and synthesis report you can check a delay so delay will take 3.847 nanosecond and uh, this is the RTL schematic of this project ok 
okay so this is a complete hotel schematic so here we have read the data okay it will be initially stored into the Gaussian smoothing filter so it will have uh, as per the architecture okay so it will have the Gaussian IP with the RGB format based line buffer encoder and line buffer decoder okay so once this process completed uh, the data will be stored into the memory part okay so here we are used with three memories right so that memory we are uh, stored after that we will read the data and uh, we need to do with this weight map channel and calfm okay and contracts enhancement okay after that we are taken the output okay and uh, this comparisons we are updated in the comparison document so the previous comparisons li and uh, mercy they are already given in the base paper okay we will show that comparisons also okay so this is a li 27 and the mercy 29 okay 720 cross 576 okay same resolution they are done so we are modified this work uh, with some changes in the Gaussian smoothing filters and uh, contracts enhancement okay and uh, these are comparisons okay you can compare it okay how much uh, logic sizes will be taken so number of slice alluvities and number of slice resistors uh, SRAM KB and external memory delay power okay and this is a comparison analysis chart Okay, this is an image output with the PSNR, MSC and SSI. Okay, so we are compared two more images. Okay, so this is one of the images, two and three. Okay, so if you need some other images, we can do that. Otherwise, you can give a image to the same resolutions. Uh, we can run it. Okay. We are written abstract document for this project. This is a title and base paper abstract. So improvement of this project, proposed title, proposed abstract, existing system, disadvantages, proposed system, and related notes, introduction to VLSI. Literature survey, finally references. Okay. Thank you. If you need more video related with VLSI projects implementation, please like and subscribe this channel.